Hey everybody, welcome back to another one of my fun projects. I've uh, just come across this, um, well I wouldn't call it a painting, um, it was just um, a place for me to put some of my sticky resin. Uh, in the beginning when I was, uh, when I just started with resin I had uh, <laughs> a lot of issues with paint you know getting going hard in resin and I didn't want to waste it so I used to just pile it onto onto this canvas and then forgot all about it and months and months and months later I've just been cleaning up and looking at some paintings to give away for the giveaway I'll talk about that later or in another video um, but if you're interested in the, the giveaway that I'm already offering, just uh, look back a couple of videos on my YouTube channel and it's just called the giveaway and uh, you'll see um, everything about it. But what I thought I would do with this, like if this, if I did this with some, if I continue to do this with some more colors, uh, I could probably build it into uh, like a sculpture and this could give some clever people some ideas. But that's you see that's hard it's 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 like plastic and uh, if I go that way you can see that it's raised a little bit but what I thought I would do is I've got these little glittery papers which um, I had cut out of um, a wrapping paper and I thought I would just use some PVA glue and get them what I'll do first is I've got a little bit of water in here I just dip it in the water to loose to make it soft and pliable and then I mean this is a really messy job but uh, I don't care put lots in there give it a rub because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this layer this over the top of these bumpy bits see and it's not going to glue perfectly because um, this is resin but I will pour resin over it afterwards. So that should um, fix that problem. So what I'm trying to do is create uh, something there in the middle, you see, and maybe try and, and, and create a geode. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see what happens. Um, I will clean the top. I've got a little brush here and just a bit of water. Afterwards, when I finish, what I'm going to do is just go around and clean that glue. But it will dry uh, clear. However, I do want to have that clean up the top there. So that's going to take a little while to dry, but not too long because it's um, it's quite warm here in Australia. So, all right, next one pop it in there. I'm going to try and not get it. Oh, it's trying to curl on me. What I might do is just get some PVA glue straight on here instead and then uh, pop this on top. And you can cut the edges or you can just tuck them in like I did. Just going to go around in a circle and um, so you can kind of tuck it in there. Once resin goes over the top of this, it will lock it in and I'll have no problems with it escaping, but I just want to make those lovely um, kind of uh, grooves and crevices and all that cool awesome stuff. So I just want to make sure that I clean the top so it's still nice and shiny for me. So when I go like that, it's still shiny. So you can use, um, this is just a, a baby wipe, I'm just using it to mold it around that um, resin blob that I have on top there. So what I'll do is I'm going to try not to wet the whole thing and see how I go with it. I'm using lots of glue. Um, okay, clean my hands. Just pressing that in and around. Because you want the bumps. This is not like um, like uh, decoupage where it has to be perfectly flat and 
smooth and everything this I want the bumps because I want it to look natural okay that bit of there just move it and I'm just going to pull that over like so that's what you want you squeeze it and make those nice grooves and edges and all kinds of natural looking things and then I'm just going to go around and dab 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 so that I can see where I'm at PVA glue is great because it dries clear so I have no problem but I don't want any murkiness on top of this glitter paper I want it to be nice and shiny it probably looks just like silver up there but it should should be glittery we'll see how we go so I think see you see that okay so that's how it's supposed to be and I don't see it doing that now maybe because it's wet oh well we will see I suppose I can always sprinkle some glitter on there but the point was to do this so let's see let's put some around here you can be much neater than me guys this is just the way I'm doing it and you get a, an idea and you do it your way if you want to do this I just don't like wasting things and I don't believe in throwing away a canvas if I can fix it and make something spectacular out of it so I'm not saying this is going to be spectacular but I'm certainly going to try to make it into something better than what it is now of course I just got this idea just now um, I was cutting out the, the papers uh, a couple of nights ago thinking about what I'm going to do with it because I had this wrapping paper and it just looked so nice and glittery and I thought oh, I'll use it in art but I was wondering how to use it so then when I saw this canvas I thought yep I know now what I'm going to do whether it's going to work or not that my dear friends I don't know um, with this one I may have to do that and then just pour some over the top and then put it on there and then I suppose if you're watching this video now it has worked <laughs> because if it doesn't work I won't put it on because it would just be a waste of you know what not to do okay so that's that and um, tuck that under there just something about, about texture something about being able to feel it you know with your fingers um, and I just I, I have very very sensitive hands like I love to you know touch things and feel things like trees and, and different objects it's just something about it all right so I'm gonna leave that at that because I'll build around this now I think but I'm trying to pick up as much of this um, glue off the top and then um, pop that in there just make it look more natural so what I will do when I do it I will use a little bit more glitter and then you know once I pour it over the top of this it'll it'll kind of spread and it'll fall into these little gaps and create little puddles of glitter which I think will look pretty awesome so 
we shall see but all of these little bumps there they just they just look really great when they and they feel beautiful when they are when they dry up so I'm just, I'm just going to leave it like that and put it outside let it dry and um, I reckon in a few hours with this weather and this heat I think um, we'll be ready to mm. there you go okay I'll leave it at that and come back later okay I just um, did a little painting with some glitter so I've got some glitter left and some resin left and I just wanted to fix this see if you can see the glitter oh, I probably can't because I don't have a light on but it's definitely nice and shimmery so what I will do is I'm going to pour some of this resin over the top of this And then I'm going to help it a little bit just with my hand. I'm going to add some more resin there. So I'm just going to spread it with my hand, make sure it goes into all of these little crevices there. That's really pretty cool. So make sure it covers everywhere bring some out because I don't want too many puddles in there I want it to to stay kind of um, texture textured as it is so these crevices I want to get rid of wipe my hands and I've got a little bit of this really really colorful I might just put some everywhere a little bit and then spread it with my hands because this is just going to add to the effect this is only because I already have had this mixed and I just want to do that. That's just spreading that around. And then I'm going to decide how I'm going to do the background because I think the background needs to be pretty plain without too many of these glittery things. A little bit of this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, light pink glitter just to mix it in with that now I could have mixed those two together one of them is a multicolored one and one of them is this one is just a, a plain so there's a bit of everything there a bit of that paper and a bit of um, this glitter and it just looks great so what I want to do is I want to pour the whole thing only because I don't want to waste resin otherwise I wouldn't that would have been quite enough same with this one I hate wasting anything really it's all too expensive and unless you have a lot of money you don't really Care, but most of us artists don't have a lot of money so we have to do with whatever <laughs> we've got <laughs> that looks really cool I like that that's uh, pretty awesome bringing it up there and just letting it fall so this was just an idea guys like you you, you got to try these things I'm not using a lot of resin here at all um, I'm just going to pour the rest of this resin before it starts to set and um, kind of blend it in there a little bit and just let that do its its thing. So it's going to need another another level because it's, it's obviously not enough to cover the whole thing and I don't like that brown or gold mix. So I'm just using what I've got left. It's always good to have these little projects that you start and um, and don't finish. And then when you have resin left over, what you do is you just use it on that project. That's what I do. That way there's no wastage really. 
and although this is a, a tiny little piece it's only 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters so I'm not sure what's that in inches maybe what would that be in inches no eight inches eight by eight but uh, there you go that's covered the whole top and some of that is glitter is spilling over which is quite fine don't mind that at all just going to try and lift it up and put it over the top of that so it looks nice but even it gathering in the in the center there it just looked pretty cool okay we'll just uh, come back again to do to do the background Ooh, it's probably way too close okay we're back now hey, you get a bit of a different angle now just because i was doing another video and i needed to be this close so let's see wow look you can see everything you guys don't have the ones that wearing glasses like myself you don't have to wear your glasses for this one okay you're going to see everything so i've got three colored pigments here i've mixed my resin i'm using this time amaze the uh, alumilite amazing crystal cast it's going to give me about 30 minute play 40 30 to 40 minute play time but not too concerned about that because I'm not going to be playing too much famous old words but um, yeah there's not going to be much playing I just want to cover this ugly brown that I have here um, this is set and cured beautifully um, so it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting one so for people who are struggling can't afford to get some pigments or shimmery ones get some um, shiny wrapping paper look at that look at this let me knock it with something harder how cool and fun is that Oh, I think I'm just going to take a little bit of this resin. It hasn't mixed yet. I just put it because I want to have more of this beautiful turquoise blue. See, it's clear. I haven't mixed it yet. And so I'm just going to be mixing them now with my stick. So I'm just going very, very slowly. And it doesn't take much longer doesn't take long uh, with a little small amount like this but you do want to mix it really really well because you don't want any lumpy bits it's pretty thick because there's a lot of pigment in there and not a lot of resin but you can get away with it get a fresh stick Oh, get a cleaner one. And here we go. Gorgeous turquoise blue. Mixing, mixing, mixing. So, of course, it's always better to mix in a tiny little bit of your resin and then mix it into a paste and then add the rest of the resin but I'm in a hurry not really I just get eager to get started so that's mixed in beautifully check that out how good is that do you like this angle not good for bigger pieces that's for sure comes the lovely lovely green so this one is like a turquoise green and the other one is more a turquoise blue all powder pigments they're all beautiful and shimmery not uh, not as shimmery as 
has the glitter, but it's just, they just have a slight little shimmer to them, a slight little luster to them. It's, uh, it's quite pretty, actually. So, right, that's it. That's done now. Check it out. And we're going to be going, I think I'm going to start with this because I've got a little bit of it here. If you can see that uh, turquoise blue, so I'm just going to go around, do the round thing. And pretty much, I was even thinking just to do a black and just have this beautiful silver and um, this um, all the, the glitter and everything in the middle. But I figured I might just use the, the complementing colours which I have in the glitter and not make it too busy. I was even going to do a dirty pour. I should have done that. It would have been fun to experiment with these these pigments. So what I'm doing is I'm just bringing them out a little bit. And you can see, look at that. Every time you do that, they just... They just want to do their own thing. I love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. This, I absolutely love it. Okay, so that's good enough for there. And might go with this. Um, should I go with the green over it? No, no. Put a little dab. I just put a little dab next to it and see what it looks like can do that just uh, okay, and then put a little dab of your pink and see how that looks oh that looks really good probably won't even need this green to be honest oh my goodness what to do what to do um, I am going to go with the green I think to blend it in with this gorgeous blue just like so a little bit more here because I've got lots of um, to cover there and then go with this gorgeous pink I'm just going to spread it like this with my fingers um, and like I said earlier this um, this was just uh, a dumping canvas, just to dump some resin over it and kind of just leave it for whenever, whenever I get a chance to do something with it. So a lot of the leftover bits of resin used to go on here. So I was trying to make a flower in the middle and all that stuff. But, um, never really got around to it and then I've been playing with some uh, glitters and I thought I might just um, put some glitter in there wow that looks really cool I'm just gonna push that a little bit just to make it a bit of a flatter surface because it looks um, a bit bumpy there just all the way around that will it will settle it doesn't have to be perfect circle either I want to get rid of that brown that was underneath there, which was not pretty. I actually like that color. Love the way they blend together, these two. And I always go around a little bit and give it a bit of a dab. Oh, there's my, here it is. So I am going to use a little bit of this. You don't even need to. And then just dab it. Actually looks pretty good without it. But these colours just go so well together. It's, um, it's just amazing how, how it works. And I'll put a little bit on the edge. This is a really, really gorgeous pink. little bit of blending it really does help could have gone without I probably should have gone without because that blue and that green just look amazing so I might just put a tiny little dab there 
I mean, if I was doing a painting without this stuff in the middle, then yes, but I think it's uh, too much to add this pink to, to this, unless I add it a, a little bit everywhere, kind of. So I'll just pick it up there, put it here, pick it up from there, put a little bit there, just so that it doesn't look too uniformed and too deliberate like. Just give it a turn. The sides, yeah, I could go around with that pink and do the sides. You can just um, dip your finger in it and just go around, cover the sides so you've got that covered and don't have to worry about it. So I can't see the back, so I'm just going to do the sides and the, um, the front and then I'll, I'll flip it around. And I need two hands now. Ooh. Don't move. So this is it's not a very professional painting. It's more like fun. Something that you can do if you've got leftover things or you want to save a canvas. Use your imagination, you know. You can put a piece of material there. You can you can save your you know things you, you can resin on on clothes like on, on fabric no problem at all um, people do it they cut out a piece of um, fabric and and then pour resin over it why is this moving there you go that's better it's still moving a little bit this wants to give me a hard time a little bit here Just go around. There are bumpy bits there already from the drips before. It does not concern me at all. As long as I've got it nice and smooth now, it's good. Now we're gonna um, we're gonna get some a little bit of heat to it to pop the bubbles. And then, um, and push push this against this this big rock here. Too pink. Okay. Oh, I love that. I don't know how it does it. I don't care, but it just creates. When you mix these pigments together and they kind of push over each other, they just seem to create these little. Um, looks like little pearls underneath, but it's perfectly flat. There's nothing there that's. Um, you know sticking out except for a couple of things over here but it's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about so I'm going to show you a close-up in a second well all I can say is wow see they're the little beads I was telling you about which I um, can't really call them cells maybe can we call them cells they look like little beads, but they're underneath. Look at this. Sorry, I'm trying to get my hand out of the way. Um, I really like that. I love this color combination. I think I'm going to do a beach scene with these, these colors. Absolutely gorgeous. It just looks like a big um, rock, you know with all these pearly gems all over it just sticking out of the it's like an island a gem island that's what it looks like to me and some of that brown see how it's poking out and you can actually see the texture now it's it's just the resin is moving and mingling in between the crevices 
and it's just creating something awesome look at that looks like two people holding hands see that <laughs> ah, imagination love it this is a tiny little painting I mean this is um, an accidental thing I never thought it was going to turn into this um, but I knew that I could fix it and I had something to do so I had to do something to fix it um, but uh, it's only a tiny little one 20 by 20 centimeters so that's about what 8 by 8 inches correct me if I'm wrong some intermetrics but look there's so many interesting things to see tiny little painting but look at that look at all the goodies look at all the shimmer look at it this is just um, cheap glitter so I'm going to be giving giving this painting away just because it's, it's just so cool and um, yep definitely going to be giving this one away so that's going to be the next giveaway I will do a video a, a separate video on this um, about you know how to how to enter to win this painting it's going to be pretty similar to uh, what we did with the last giveaway which is coming pretty close to a draw time um, it's going to be on this Sunday so you, if you haven't seen that uh, video scroll down on my channel and look at um, a video which is titled giveaway and some other words I can't really remember what look at those beads look at that that is um, that's the pigment pigment does that all by itself when you put heat on it it's um, very 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 interesting alrighty so check out that uh, video and um, that's for the last the current giveaway and then um, shortly I will be uploading some information about this giveaway that's it for now I hope I haven't bored you too much and um, you enjoyed this the colors are absolutely amazing it's not being picked up properly so I'm just wondering if I could just open a curtain and see if we can if that looks a bit better probably not but um, yeah alrighty I'll see you again in another video